Okay, let's get into talking about back pain. Let me go through a couple of scenarios that will help you. I want to talk about the bike, I want to talk about your pelvis, and I actually also want to remind you about your head. So the whole focus is about posture, is about developing posture that will alleviate back pain. Now back pain exists on and off the bike for a lot of people and it comes around at different points, but your bike is not causing it. So the first thing I want us to look at is the size of your bike. Are you just on the wrong bike? Now, there'll be a video float up somewhere, there'll be a link in the description from the latest video I did about the kinetic reach test. Find out if that bike reach is too long for you. Fix that either by changing the front end, the stem length, get the bike so that the arms are under control and you're not overstretching. Because if we have weak posture plus the stretching, you're screwed. Remember, bike companies are They are creating a number of bikes within a particular range of sizes and telling you that they work, they fit. Of course they'll fit you, sir. Oh, suits you, in you come. It's not right. You know yourself based on life, shopping for clothes. I've got long arms, arms like Spock, okay? Jumpers don't fit me. I've got slightly longer legs for my 177.5 centimeters tall. So I know my geometry. Do you know yours or do you allow a table on the internet to help you? Now look, I've been bike fitting for 30 years. I run that stick, pole, broom handle, whatever you want to call it, from the bottom bracket up to the top tube. You don't need to see the bottom, it's going from the bottom bracket. It makes a mark on the top tube. That mark there, to your headset as you reach. What the hell has that got to do with your height? And did you know that a 50 or a 52, say a 51 to a 53 bike, the reach can change by five millimeters between two sizes, but the stack height changes sometimes by 20 millimeters on new aero bikes. That's a big difference, isn't it? So somebody can tell you, hey, the reach is only a couple of millimeters. We have this one on stock. Well, they might not tell you that. We'll sell you this one because it will fit you, don't worry. You get on the bike and you think, my back is killing me. Okay, because you can't reach it. Right, anyway, check that video out. As I said, let's make sure the bike is within reach and you're using your arms and such to do that. Okay, so let's talk now about a couple of things I do, okay, that will help me block back pain. Back pain wants to get into every party. It wants to gate crash your party. He's hanging about all the time and he wants in there. So first of all, after this video, go and find four kilograms, something that weighs four kilograms, okay? Because that is a very small head. If you're a man, it's more likely to be five kilograms. And if you're a big man with a big head, it's probably likely to be six kilograms. But you just get a feel for that. I do it a lot in my videos. I do it a lot in my bike fit. And just to remind you, if you do no posture work, you're screwed. Because if you've got a neck like mine, like a pencil, and it's holding this big, heavy head, okay? I got a small face, but a big brain. <laughs> well, I like to think so. But the thing is, posture is important. Now, here's the next myth, core work. Hey, I've got the core of an Adonis. Means I can put out 400 watts. Billy bollocks. It doesn't work that way. Now, I talk about core a lot, but I talk it in reference to your posture. Because guess what? You sit down a lot. No, I don't, coach. I cycle eight hours a week. Yeah, on your ass, you're still sitting for 95% of that ride, but we're sitting down even more and more. And with the introduction of AI technology, you're gonna sit down forever if you had your way, okay? But the thing is, when we sit down, boom, we have this crappy posture, we lose structure and strength through the glute, and your glute starts to wobble like a jelly. You have deactivation of the glute. It sounds like Mission Impossible 22 or whatever Tom Cruise is up to with these movies. It does happen, okay? Next time you're sitting down, stand up. How do you stand up? If you stand up, putting your hands on your legs, you're using your quads to stand up, okay? Put your heels back and stand up, okay? Through your heels and use your glutes without putting your hands. Try it. And if you're in a very low seat, it's very hard. You got no glutes. So you can check out the link in the description, plug, plug, 
take you to a kinetic school. You might even be ready for kinetic university, okay? Whereby we're going to share lots of exercises. There's lots of live workouts in there, but you can go and Google and you can look at glute work. Hey, you may already do that. You do glute bridges, you do all sorts of things. But guess what? Antagonistic muscles, they all work in pairs. Everything is about the kinetic flow. If you're as good a dancer as me, God help you. Okay, we talk about this movement, this kinetic chain. What's fine motor movement and gross motor movement got to do with cycling coach? I just got to cycle on there and hammer away at the pedals. True, look at any pro race on the TV, Tour de France, the Giro, whatever. You've got six foot five plus, some even taller, down to five foot five. You've got 60 kilogram Tour de France winners up against 75 kilograms sprinter. They're all different shapes. They all have slightly different bike fits. They all look different on a bike. Some of them look graceful, elegant, and some of them look like a Quasimodo, okay? But the thing is, a pro from a very young age has been manipulated around their bike, okay? Their body has been molded, and they are doing a heck of a lot of work off the bike. So, the glute, okay, works with the hip flexor. Now you probably knew that, and you probably know that you should be doing work on your hip flexor. You do the odd stretch, you may stretch your quad, but you're not working on your hip flexor enough. So what happens is when we're sitting down, yeah, we shorten the hip flexor. When we cycle, we shorten it even more. The shorter hip flexor, even if I pinch it, what's it doing? It's bringing me forward. It's bringing my posture back. So this is when you're an old man and you say, oh, in my day, I used to cycle a hundred miles a day. Now look at me, I can't even, Walk to the toilet. Your posture's gone. We don't want that. The older you get, the more dialed in to your muscle tone and your posture you gotta get. But if you've got back pain and do none of this work, you're screwed. You've just let back pain in the front door, the back door, and it's coming in every window. It's going to affect every cycle ride, even if your bike fits you, okay? Let me give you a couple of little things I do. So, before I go on the cycle, there, there's a number of glute bridges I'll do. I'll share them in school. But I'll do a squat with a glute activation. You've got to tell your glute, okay? Spongy, hard. Spongy, hard. You've got to turn it on. So, simple squat, but you've got to do a deep squat, stretching your butt out and then with a squeeze at the top. So, try this next time you go on your bike. Feet, 10 to two, okay? I call it 10 to two with your feet, shoulder, so out. Now imagine you're gonna sit on a chair, but the chair's too far away. So what you've got to do is to push your butt out. Use your bike, because you've got no other equipment. Use your bike to stabilize yourself. It can be propped up against the wall, the bus stop, if you're meeting some friends. Reach out, so reach back. Keep your chest nice and high. Down, up. Now when you come up to the top, squeeze. Hold, two, three, release. Then do it again. Do that for about 10 times, okay? So you reach, reach your butt back, 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 keep your chest up. Top, squeeze, squeeze. Hold, two, three. You gotta hold it, switch it on. And that'll help fire up your glute. Dead simple. Hip flexor, use your bike, okay? So, just nice and easy, as if you're doing a quadricep stretch, but drop your foot on the top tube. Now, if you're doing an indoor session, easy, your bike's propped up, no problem. You can even get somebody to hold your bike if you're waiting, and you get everybody doing this. So, nice straight spine, okay? And all we're gonna do now, you may call this a Bulgarian squat, we lean off the front, okay? Bend the foot that's straight, so for me it's my right, we've got my left one in position. What will happen is, okay? You'll get into that position, don't fall forward. Next, you'll feel that deep stretch through the hip flexor. Now you can do this pre and post ride. Dead simple, okay? And that is a very simple way to keep you right. No drill will ever be completed if it's complex, if it takes too much time. So what you've got to understand is if you want to improve your cycling, your power, your comfort, you've got to understand about the way that ligaments, tendons, and muscles work together in this kinetic flow. It's super important. If you look at your bike, 
No matter what bike you've got, saddle, pedals, crank arm, cables, everything works together. Your body's the same, but we forget that so many times. That kinetic flow is super important. Okay, so if your bike doesn't fit you, check out the video, do the little reach test if you think, fix the front end so that you can play piano on the handlebars, no problem. Then start to look at your hip, your glutes and your hip flexor. If we can work on that, you can really dial in and alleviate that back pain, okay? Because you will strengthen the glutes and the glutes job is to stabilize the pelvis, okay? If the glute's not doing that, your lumbar's doing it, and your lumbar is too weak. So the lumbar becomes under pressure, boom, it starts to become painful. Game over, okay? Anyway, so go now and, well, hit the subscribe button first, hit the thumbs up, I'm sure there was one point in there that helped, but go now find a four kilogram weight, lift it up, feel it, that's a light head. That's to remind you, shit, I gotta do posture work. And once you do it, you can help alleviate your back pain. Hey, I've got loads more to share. You even saw that I touched on points there that need much deeper diving into. And we do that. Live videos every Monday, 7.30 UK time. You might even get some of your questions answered. And if not, I'll see you inside school, okay? You keep smiling, keep spinning, and remember, anyone can train hard, but there's only a few of us can train smart.